All right guys, today we're gonna to talk a little shop safety, public service announcement slash promoted product piece here. Say what? I don't do a lot of promoted products. Frankly, not a lot of people reach out to me because you know, I'm not that big of a channel. But the folks at Dreo reached out to me and offered to send me uh, one of their HEPA filters. And at first I was like, no dude, I don't need this. Like, go away. Like, I'm not gonna pimp people's product for free product. Like, that's not me, bro. Like. My people don't need a HEPA filter. Like, that's not needed. So I sent them away and I said, go away, I don't wanna mess with you. Uh, then, as I started ramping up a lot of this lure production we're doing for WM Bayou, I was actually injecting a lot more for a lot longer than I typically did, right? So when I'm prototyping stuff, you know, I'll go out, I'll shoot one, fish it, if it works great. If I don't do like large production runs. So we have a couple of lures in the pipeline right now that I'm kind of producing uh, larger runs of to get them out to some of the people that fish our lures for testing. And I started noticing that I started to feel like total crap after, you know, just like three or four runs uh, over like an hour, hour and a half. Uh, my eyes were all messed up, like I had trouble breathing and I just like felt really bad. Take another look at the way he moves. Remember, Dylan, almost like sleepwalking. Because at one point I even thought I had COVID because it was making a run through our house and I came in, I'm like, okay, I must be getting COVID today because I feel like shit. Uh, but like, I didn't get COVID. It was just like all the stuff that was sucking up in the air. And it's not like I was sitting over there huffing fumes up, dude. Like I wear a mask, I wear a respirator. It has the proper uh, acid gas VOC filter on it. I have ventilation in my roof that should in theory by CFM rating suck out uh, all the air in this room and replace it uh, within two minutes, I think. And I also have this six inch like inline duct fan thing that like shoots the fumes out of my immediate work area, kind of up to the side where in theory they get sucked up by the ventilation in the ceiling. But I still felt like crap. So something obviously wasn't working. So I reached back out to the Dreo folks and I said, uh, hey bro, can I give your air filter a shot? And they thankfully said yes. And so I was like, cool, I dropped it in the mail. And I also picked up a air quality sensor from Purple Air. I bought this myself, so it's not sponsored by them at all. Um, Cause I wanted something that looked like it was relatively good quality. Uh, not one of those ones you can find on eBay for $20 that don't actually measure air quality. So I got the air quality uh, sensor in and I decided to do kind of a baseline test run without the air filter in place. And whoa, dude, was that eye opening. Check this out. These peaks here are when I was pouring uh, lures, right? I use a microwave, uh, which is not kind of the best way to heat uh, soft plastic, right? Because it kind of dumping a lot of energy and a lot of heat in there. And it's real easy to go kind of over the top and make it too hot, which will then produce a lot of fumes and you do it quickly, right? So when I say it's not the best, it's not the best from an air quality standpoint, right? Tons of people do it. Tons of people make lures that way. Uh, but from an air quality standpoint, it's gonna generate typically a lot of fumes. And you can see them here. I mean, that's like not really good air quality. Uh, this thing says like, hey, sensitive people can't last more than uh, 24 hours, even less. I happen to be like one of those people. I'm allergic to like the planet basically. And so uh, it was really, really affecting me. So fast forward the next day, I decided to take out the Dreo and dude, this thing's pretty big. Looks cool. Like I don't know crap about air filters, but you know, looks cool. Not gonna bore you with an unboxing of my circular air filter. But I decided to just replace the inline vent fan with the air filter right over the top of my microwave and just see how it worked. So I turned it on, hit the turbo button because it's turbo button. You gotta press the turbo button, it's required and ran another batch of lures. And so when I'm doing these, I do uh, one initial heat with fresh plastisol and then I do a reheat. And I really did that because I want to see if there is a difference between the, the fresh batch and the reheat. Uh, there does seem to be some. I actually thought the reheat would be worse because I have glitter in there and maybe I overheat and you know some of that glitter kind of burns. But it was actually less on the reheat than the initial heat. So I don't know, I'm not a chemist, bro. But you can see when I ran with the Dreo, like the air quality improved significantly. Now I was still wearing my mask because a HEPA filter is not gonna do anything for VOCs or the gases. Like it doesn't take that out of the air, right? That's, it just simply can't. But like it takes all of the particles out of the air and it really kept the air quality great. And I felt a lot, lot better when I was done. Still not great. I still had like my itchy eyes and stuff, but I certainly didn't feel tired and kind of worn down and beat up. So I count that as a win. So I'm still gonna keep looking to see if I can find a way to remove the VOCs quickly 
you know, my mask does an okay job, but I think it's still kind of seeping in there somehow. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get a full-blown respirator or I saw some other air filters that claim to do VFC. Maybe I'll check those out. So at the end of the day, would I recommend you buy a HEPA air filter for your shop? Yeah, dude, I think so. Like, you don't wanna be sucking in all kinds of gunk in your lungs, bro. Like, that's not good. The Dreo, like, I don't know, seems fine. I'm not an air, air filter expert. Clearly works, like, scientifically proven to work. There's a link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link. They sent me a free one. I figure I don't need to get a few cents off if you guys wanna buy one. Like, go buy one or go buy another HEPA filter. Like, I really don't care. But this guy works, and it works well. Take care. Tight lines.